You are listening to Look Who's Talking. I am Cameron Minter. I am your co-host and our wonderful Head Start Director, Jessica Coffey. Hey. Is in the house. What is going on, Jessica? Hey, y'all. Not much, Cam. I'm just, you know, trying to keep my head above water. Just keep Did you a grow head a mold above water. Huh? Overnight. Did you grow a mold? Oh, or is that a big, my, big, oh big, my huge God. pimple? We're on TV. That turned We're, black. Oh, my God. She gets on my nerves. I mean, the people might want to. I mean, it's hidden, but no, now everybody on. It's hidden. Oh, my who? God. I can't stand who is you. that? Oh. I don't know if I'm talking to you wow. or that. Wow. I can't. I can't with I'm you. I'm sorry. Let's start over. No, no, it's in there and it's gonna stay and it's gonna cook. Okay. Because it's gonna come back on you. Well, what anyway. You what you know, Jessica? How are Hi, you? Hi, Cam. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, I'm ready for football season. I was gonna say. I think I threw you through you off. You did. You did complete football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, it's so fake. No, I like uh, football. You do like football, right? I love football. Okay. So yeah. who, who's your team? I mean, UK. <laughs> For real? For real? Mm, that, was, that was just. <laughs> I see this show is, is going to. I don't it's going to be one of them days. I don't know about this I mean, show. you just ain't saying nothing right today. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just nothing. I okay. do like. I yeah, mean, okay. you like the Cardinals. That's right. That's right. I love That's my Cardinals. Team, I love my Cardinals. But see, I'm consistent with UK. You However, consi- I, I just like football in general. Okay. See, that's better because UK is not really known for football. So. It, and most most UK fans are not UK football, football fans. fans. Yeah, so. I mean they're not football fans, but they go to the games. <laughs> right? How about that? You'll see the games packed. Right. Traffic is gonna be awful. That's right. That's right. That's Speaking right. of oh. traffic, oh, you uh, you, used you know to your, it, my most unfavorite day of the yeah. year has come and passed. Yes, and that's the first day of school. And how did you do? You know, I waited to look. I left my house at nine thirty, and I was fine. <laughs> That's how you avoid the traffic. But coming home, mm. oh, even if I leave the office at six o'clock, mm. there's just traffic. Like because now UK and the school systems are in. And oh, I forgot about UK. Oh, it's just just makes my life. It's rough. It's just rough out here in these streets. You know what? This is this is when I'm tested because <laughs> sitting in traffic, <laughs> and then people who can't drive. Or driving slow. Like, oh my God. why are you driving so slow? You sound like you got some road rage up in you. I don't have road rage. I just Are you have, sure? I'm positive. Okay. I don't have road rage, but I mm-hmm. have, you know, just road etiquette. If <laughs> you in the way, you know, they remind me of like when you walking in the mall. And there's someone in front of you walking uh, like so slow yeah, that yeah. it slows your stride down. Yeah. And I don't have a horn to beat right, right, when I'm in the right, ball walking. Right, right, right. Yeah, but, but I have a horn. That, oh, that's, yes. That's called rage. That, no. you, it's not road rage. You are absolutely what? right. Why? It's just rage. No. <laughs> why Why did they give you a horn if they did not want you to use it when you were in your car? <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Can you explain yeah. that? No, I can't. You're absolutely right. Okay. It's perfectly Then people want to get used. mad at you if you like, there's a difference in mm-hmm. horn blows. Arr, means you're mad, but two two means hey, pay attention. The right. light turned green. Have you seen Unhinged? No. Oh, that that's a movie you need is to see. Is it an old movie? Yes, it is an old movie. Uh, and it all starts well. It starts off the dudes having some issues. Well, but, hold up, who's in it? Oh, what's his name? He was from. Uh, is that Gladiator? The Will? Oh, that ain't Will Smith. In no, it's oh, I'm thinking of a comedy. Gladiator, but anyway. He, uh, oh, I'm thinking of Hitched. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm I'm in the 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 vicious movie. Go look it up. Unhinged. Is it um, scary? Because I'm not gonna watch it. Is no, it's not scary. It's suspenseful. I, I mean, okay, so here here's here's what's scary for me. Scary movies like you know Freddy, Freddy Krueger and all that crap. That's not scary. That what's scary is real life. When when real life things can happen, that's what's scary. Like Purge. And this, Have you seen Purge? The purge. I can't. Your attention span is just yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I've seen purge. Just go with the flow. I'm Kim. just trying to get this into you, 
At the, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> just never mind. Unhinged. Go look at it. It's. Uh, this sounds scary. I'm not gonna watch it. It's you not. Can tell it's me suspenseful. About it. I don't like suspense. Well, I like. It all starts off the guy. He's having a bad day, and he kills somebody, and oh. somebody blows their horn at him in traffic, and he pursues them relentlessly. Like Unhinged. he don't give up. It's, just by blowing the horn? Bruh. That's what I'm you saying. You could have hit your butt. What? <laughs> right. You have bruh. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Try one. Go! <laughs> nope. Bruh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't with you. So with that, I think it's time for a very inspirational. I mean, this one's got to knock me off my socks well, because we've really I might need started to find out a new really one cuz no, no, this one's got to be okay. the one. It's got to be the one. It's time for a coffee break. Okay, guys, for today's coffee break, I want to say the best revenge is none. Oh my god. Heal. Move on. Right. And don't become like those who hurt you. Okay. Okay, that ran in line. That's with, good. That's the, good. Cause you got. I'm not gonna blow no horns right, anymore. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even We're not though that wasn't that. revenge. That <laughs> wasn't revenge. However, you know what? Just, just cool breeze it. If someone makes you mad, it's no. It's there's no need to match their energy. That's right. Because there's only certain things that you can control, and you are one of them. Your response okay. is one of them. Yes. I keep in mind, vengeance is mine, said, said someone. Said that I know. Yeah. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I, I don't, this definitely wasn't planned, but everything that's happened so far today is <laughs> totally appropriate for today's guest. Yes. Will you do us it the honors? Because we, we need some of this right now. Listen, <laughs> this is one of my favorite people in the world. Mm -hmm. The world, Cam. The world. Not in Lexington, not, but the world. Not the subdivision. Because you add, add that up, and that's a lot of people. That's a lot. Okay. Okay. So we have with us Daisy Brown. <laughs> hey, Daisy. Hello. She is with Champion Therapy. So I will let you do all your acronyms because I <laughs> I can't keep up with my own. Uh -huh. So I hate that part. And mm -hmm. you know, she has Elemental P out behind her name. Uh -huh, all yeah. of it. It's all I've of the working. above. It yes. Just means I've been working. Mm. Yes. So Daisy um it collaborates with us uh on different let's say mental health and um, just group counseling, things like that, um, and supports um, our emotional, our goal towards emotional growth mm -hmm. and well-being. So thank you for having Welcome us. Welcome to Come the show. Hey, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Yes. I'm excited. I love our collaboration mm -hmm. on mental health and making sure everybody is well so that they're not horning people or becoming unhinged. Mm. You know, that's the <laughs> <laughs> unhinged. <huh? laughs> We're trying to make sure people don't okay. become unhinged. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, or, you know, start doing a purge. So mm. I appreciate, yeah, yeah. you know, the fact that we get to come together <laughs> and make sure those things don't happen in real life. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would like to start off talking about is, well, part of your background, um, I know, you know, working with individuals is one thing, but I want to know about how it is working with agencies and groups and, and how can that affect, you know, the trajectory of where that, say, company is going? Um, I think to work with groups or an agency it, it changes the culture of the agency because now it's not just, okay, it's one thing if one person goes to therapy or if we put it like this, okay, if the whole house is sick mm -hmm. and one person gets help but they come back into a sick house, then they get sick again. Right. So if you have it where the whole agency is well, then that means you have a whole a well agency. And if there's only one person or a couple people that's sick, mm -hmm. the healthy people can actually work on the person that's sick and be like, hey, you really need to go get therapy. You really need to go get some help. I was the same way. I understand. Now look at me. I'm different. So working together as a group 
makes the whole agency become better. Mm-hmm. Or you're at least able to identify sick people. Right. And kind of stay away from sick people because right. like you're not you're not feeling well. Mm. I'm gonna go this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Until you go get you some help. So that's kinda how it is. It makes it so that the whole agency looks different and then you can also recognize sickness and not match that energy. It's the matching that that <laughs> That's a struggle. What, yeah. what, it's the matching what? That, the that matching energy. That you want. Because if you talk, uh. example, <laughs> <laughs> if you talk to me crazy, uh-huh. it's depending on how I feel that uh-huh, day, right. what you're going to get. I know. And it might be crazy. But, but of course, we, we don't want that to happen. Just like the little quote said, uh, to like, mm-hmm. basically, That's you right. don't have to match people's energy. You don't. So um, looking within mm-hmm. yes. is important to identify how you interact with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think knowing before you walk out the house uh-huh. where you are, like doing a self-evaluation before you walk out the house, <laughs> before you get out of the bed <laughs> yeah. to know exactly what you have. So the way I um, kind of deem it is looking at your emotional budget. Like uh-huh. if you don't, so same way with your checking account. If you look at your checking account and you know that you only got this amount of money in there, yeah. to spend more than that, it's going to overdraw your account. Okay. Emotionally, before you get out of bed, if you know you only have a certain amount in your emotional budget, and mm-hmm. if you respond to that person mm-hmm. that way, you're going to overdraw your account for the rest of the day. It's mm-hmm. better for you not to even purchase that. Yeah. Like it's like, oh, that's what they, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're going through. And if I respond that way, I'm gonna be negative all day long. What I happens like when Apple Pay takes it out and you didn't know it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apple likes to take everything out before. See, you know I like it. that because I I <laughs> compare my day. Am I having a Beyonce? Day. Y'all oh know I love her. Mm-hmm. Or Miss Seely Day. Oh. oh <laughs> it's one of the two. Sometimes it's mine is not a living dead. Is that <laughs> hand going to come up out the grave or is she going to stay asleep? <laughs> you know, it just well. depends. <laughs> so, so Daisy uh, works with uh, uh, our Head Start parents and our staff here at Community Action Council offering uh, mental health um, uh, services. So, where are you at? What's the, what's the name of your so it's a Champion Therapy Center. You can reach out to us at 859-359-8352. When you call and talk to the admin, let them know that you are calling from Community Action so um, that we'll know exactly how to bill and what paperwork to send. And we offer services seven days a week, um, Monday through Sunday, virtual and in wow. person. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you are a parent that is just struggling trying to, to gather life, because parenting is hard, mm-hmm. and you never know what how your kids gonna wake up on what day, mm. and so you can be like, okay, I'm have a good day, and your child be like, I want to wear these hot boots <laughs> for the summertime <laughs> with a hoodie, <laughs> with a hoodie, and you're like, mm. and you can always tell when the child wins because when they come out and they're not matching <laughs> at all, the parents say, you got they it, won. whatever, whatever they you want to wear, go right here. They mm-hmm. won today. The hoodie it's with <laughs> the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, they they had a fight. I'm and reflecting. They won. <laughs> So how would you say if someone came to you and said, you know, mental health ain't nothing wrong with me. You know, there's so much, you know, negativity on saying mental health. Mm -hmm. How could you help someone get past that to get the, the support that they need? Well, I I believe that everybody has mental health. Everybody does not have mental illness. Mm -hmm. So mental health is your mind, your emotions, your will, your intellect. Everyone has that because we all have that. Mental illness is when it starts affecting your daily living. I like that. Everything about you. Like when you don't want to get out of bed, when you don't want to wash yourself, when you don't want to brush your teeth, when you don't want to. That's when it's like, okay, you need to probably talk to somebody. The more we normalize talking to somebody, the Mm -hmm. more it becomes normal. Mm -hmm. Like everybody needs somebody to talk to. Your girlfriends and your homies are tired of hearing it. And so that's Mm -hmm. when you start paying somebody to Mm -hmm. listen to you and give you sound wisdom because when you have the pen and you're writing the narrative your narrative isn't always the right narrative and so sometimes you need somebody else to be like "Mm, what's your proof behind that (laughs) and so making it normal to talk to somebody everybody needs somebody to talk to it's just like it doesn't mean you know back in the day oh if you're talking to a therapist you're crazy all of us are a little crazy Mm -hmm. um (laughs) so just join the rest of us over here yeah that i'm a therapist with a therapist because Mm -hmm. i need somebody to talk to too i need somebody to help me organize my life and rationalize what i'm going through and so um it's normal to talk to somebody Mm -hmm. i think that's good to hear that a therapist has a therapist Mm -hmm. because you know you wouldn't want to work out with a trainer who doesn't work out right you know right so i i think that's great to hear that you know 
you you receive that support as well. Absolutely. He tells me all about myself on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> he does, and I keep showing up paying that copay. Ain't that it? <laughs> Ain't that it? <laughs> we are talking with Daisy Brown. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but you are listening to Look Who's Talking. This past year has highlighted the strength of Community Action Council. Every day, our staff works together to help families recover from this crisis. We're educating children at home and in person, helping parents who lost their jobs, and helping households avoid eviction. Our work at Community Action Council has never been more important than it is right now. So why not join us? We have employment opportunities requiring a range of skills from entry level to advanced. Apply online at commaction.com. Org. Community Action Council's Head Start programs are now enrolling for the 24-25 school year in 15 counties, including Lexington. Head Start offers high-quality early childhood education for qualifying families with children between the ages of 6 weeks and 5 years old. Spaces are limited and filling up quickly. So, to help ensure your child receives the Head Start advantage this year, start your application today by calling 859-233-4600 or go online at comaction.org. That's C O M M Action dot O R G. You are listening to Look Who's Talking. Our guest today is Daisy Brown. But just for those Head Start parents that are listening, are you really listening? Today's Head Start word of the day is transformative. Transformative. All right, Daisy. Before we went to the break, we were talking about, I don't know, what were we talking about? Trying to get into a groove? What, what were we talking about? I think we're we're focusing in on how to find your rhythm now that school is back in and work oh, is yeah. back in and all the things and what worked last year might not work this year and, mm. and not being so hard on yourself if you haven't mastered it mm -hmm. in, in the very beginning of school starting. If you haven't mastered how to get homework done and cook dinner and all the things and how that can be really a traumatic thing in your mind because sometimes we are our worst critic. Yeah. You yeah, know, if we that. haven't mastered it, if we're not you know, a one parent, we can be very hard on ourselves. And I find that traumatic events or crisis happen as change happens. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a child that is now going to elementary school and they've been home with you all this time right. or one going to middle school or high school in your mind, that can feel like a crisis because I'm like, oh, my God, my child is growing up. What am all I right. going to do? Um, and so having grace for yourself and mm -hmm. patience with yourself if you haven't perfected everything you think you should have perfected, right. I would say. And so as a therapist, I'd be like, okay, the rhythm may be different this year. And right. it's okay that the rhythm is different. But sometimes we try to be who we were. That also makes me think about when parents have multiple children and what they did with the first one is different than what they mm. did with the second one. Mm -hmm. So then they think, oh, my gosh, I did something wrong. But it may be you have different kids. None of them are the same. Oh. The way they respond is different, how they talk to you. You can have a child that's very emotional. You can uh -huh. have a child that's very assertive or aggressive. You can have one that I remember one time a parent came in and said, I have four daughters and this one, you know, we never knew that she was even in a room. She was so quiet. She was perfect. And I was just like, there is no such thing. Mm. <laughs> and so when she started displaying emotions and they were a lot of emotions, they were thrown off. Yeah. Because it was like, we never, she never, and it was like, no, we all have emotions. We just respond differently. Mm -hmm. And now it's her time to respond. And y'all like the way she responded. <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> so all children are a little different and being okay because you were given these kids. You mm -hmm. have what it takes to make sure that child is successful, but you can't put them all in a box. It's yeah. not going to work. Right. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Yeah. And I them too. I think uh, my parents learned that the hard way when I came <laughs> along. Okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I know I test they gangster. <laughs> I did. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Mm. But I thank y'all for sticking with me. Oh, they stuck by <laughs> you. Stay. <laughs> Help, they Lord. Stuck. <laughs> yeah, 
all of my kids are different. All of them are different. Um, I have the assertive one. I have a couple sneakies uh-huh. that uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that I'll be like, okay, I need the Holy right, Ghost and right. read between the lines right. to see exactly what they're doing because right. they're not going to mm-hmm. tell me. Right. right? Yeah. And it doesn't change. Let me go ahead and set people free. When they turn 18, it does not change. It does not. How bad they need you, it doesn't change. Mm-hmm. I know they said 18, they lied. Right, mm-hmm. right. They lied to us because they, they still coming. need you. They, they keep do. coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but and you know what? That goes in line with having staff, too. Mm-hmm. I learned, uh, it wasn't necessarily the hard way, mm-hmm. but I learned that, oh, I see why I'm not getting this result from this person. Mm-hmm. Because they don't operate that way, mm-hmm. and I had to, I had to be the change, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And I think that's something that, you know, a lot of people, whether it's through family life or through work life, you're expecting someone else to change, mm-hmm. and you might need a look in the mirror first. Yeah, I think knowing, and I remember doing this with the administrative staff when we did the retreat. Knowing how people work, like mm-hmm. knowing their personality, also shows you how to get the best out of them. Yeah. Because some people want the assertive communication, and some people need just facts. Mm-hmm. Like, and once you know exactly how your staff works, you mm-hmm. can actually get the best out of them. But if you expect them all to respond like you, right? everybody right. don't respond real well to assertive co- uh, communication. Yeah. Um, some people just give me the facts, give me what you need, and I'll run with it from there. And so when we did the personality assessments, uh-huh. we figured out – this is the people over here and these are the people over here and this is how you get the best out of both worlds. Yeah. Because everybody has something to offer. Yeah. You just have to know how to get it from them. That part. I like I'm a mm-hmm. I'm such a to the point person. Yeah. If you ask me a question, say it's yes or no, and I'll be like, no. <laughs> and people get offended. <laughs> and I'm like, did you not ask me? Mm. And you know, some people want that. Well, not at this time. However, we can look. No, I'm not going to look back. It's no. <laughs> Chat, I, yeah. helps with that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, and I'm just learning that instead of writing rewording, shout GPT, reword politely. Mm. I, I learned that last week. <laughs> See it. Have mercy. So one of the things that uh, we just recently had our men's group and we had Daisy as a guest there because. The Head Start men's group. Yes. I'm sorry. What did I say? No, you can say oh, okay. Group. Yeah. Head Start men's group. Anyway, we men have, in my opinion, she can correct me if I'm wrong. Men have uh, more issues of letting out our emotions, letting people in, letting our problems be known. And uh, one of the things in our group is that we, we, we once we get to talking, we will talk in, in, in a, you know, free environment. But once we get to talking, then we realize, oh, I'm dealing with the same thing. Oh, I'm dealing with the same thing. And, you know, we, we could be homies. We could be right there together and never know because – that's just the difference. So in, in reaching those those type of, you know, reaching men, uh, that's that's a different animal, is it not? It is. Um, men, it takes some time for them to feel comfortable expressing their emotions. Mm-hmm. I will say once they start expressing their emotions, I want to say this to women and men, don't weaponize their emotions against them. Yes. Don't, once they become vulnerable with you, don't, when you all get into an argument or something like that, do not use that against them because right. then trying to get them to talk to you again mm. will be a problem because they trusted you with something that they've kept dear. And so once they get to talking, don't don't weaponize that mm. against them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because the if you do, then it's going to take the jaws of life and the AED machine <laughs> to get them to start <laughs> back talking to you again. Mm-hmm. So uh. when they start, listen and allow them to express their emotions, but giving them that safe space to be able to say that they're scared and they don't know and they don't understand and don't use that against them because you say you want them to talk and then when they start yeah. talking, then it turns into something else. Yeah, and then you're looking at them and they're a dead man walking. But well, why don't you talk to me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I tried that. Right. 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 And 
So I also tell the men, make sure if they do that, you challenge them and say, that's not okay. You, you're mm-hmm. not allowed to do that. I mm-hmm. want to be with you and I want to talk to you, but you can't ever do that again. Yeah. Right. So, so right. what do y'all be talking about when y'all around each other? We talk about everything. I <laughs> mean, not, clearly you're not talking <laughs> about your emotions. Right, right. I mean, but we, I mean, I'm calling some girl, guess what happened? One of the funniest things for me is once men, <laughs> um, identify that this is a safe place. Uh-huh. Hey, we we talking, mm-hmm. we talking, mm-hmm. and um, before you know it, it'd be like, wow, you know what I'm saying? So um, that that's another reason why we we invite different guests in, uh, specifically dealing with uh, different topics, because I don't. I, my worst fear is opening up a, a, a can of worms and then ain't got no way to get them back in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's why Daisy was was there in our men's group to, you know, help uh, facilitate that and get some help, you know, resources. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that um, that was a, a big stress for us is that you have resources, you have options. And um, not to make a permanent decision on a temporary solution yeah. or, or, or permanent, yeah. Mm-hmm. And 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 that's that was that's that's key. That's not just the men. That's that's all of us. That's right. all of. We're all going through things. We're all handling it in, in different ways. Mm-hmm. But you have resources available to you mm-hmm. to help you make those decisions. Right. Absolutely. I'll tell anybody. Um, Whatever you do, whatever you're feeling like right now, it's not going to be that way permanently. If you think about the seasons, the seasons always change, mm-hmm. whether you want them to change or not. Like, I don't want fall to come because <laughs> I like summer. But mm-hmm. guess what? It's going to come anyway. It's yeah. coming. And so in your lifetime, when things are happening with you and you find that, oh, my God, it's never going to get better. First of all, this is how you know it's a lie. Never is a long time. Yes, and right. we've never, we haven't met never yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when I in like your that. mind you say never, that's already the lie. That's mm-hmm. right. Because Anytime you use an absolute, you know that that's not right. So in your mind, if you're sitting there thinking, this is never going to get any better, that's not true. The season will change. Do not make a permanent decision based on a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. If you find that you are in a place where you're thinking and you know you're not thinking right and you don't feel safe with yourself, pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Call 859-359-8352. Do not take your life. Now, Mm -hmm. I become very direct when it comes down to this, and I'm not afraid of it. Do not take your life because I would prefer you being angry with me and alive than dead, and I have to go to your funeral. I can't explain that to your children. There is not enough tears that I can wipe to make them feel okay that you're not here for prom, you're not here for weddings, you're not here for those things. They need you. Mm -hmm. So make sure that if you're feeling unsafe with yourself, that you pick up the phone and you call 859-359-8352 because we need you. We want you, and the world will be a better place as long as you're in it. Mm-hmm. That's true. I know I shifted that for just no, a second. Like no, that. that's but what we need to shift. Needed. It's ne- necessary. That's needed. And I take mm-hmm. every advantage on that on that one. So, amen. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, she said amen. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but but that's, that's something that's definitely needed. And, it, you know, it's just uh, being able to encourage our parents. Um, there is a lot of pressure. There is a lot of things that we are all going through. And one thing, too, is even if you're not going through it, give grace because you don't know Man. what mm-hmm. the people next to you are going through. Unhinged, you need to go watch it. Yeah. Movie. And <laughs> you know what? And yesterday, I felt like I had a bad day mm-hmm. at work. And, uh, well, I went to eat after because <laughs> I said, oh, I'm going to get a nice meal for this day. Uh-huh. And there was this little boy and his name was Jackson, and he was just talking to me, the sweetest little four-year-old I've ever met. And when we were about to leave, he was like, do you want to walk out with us and (laughs) grab my hand? (laughs) And his parents were just smiling. Like, little Mm -hmm. things like that, like, and that made me think you don't know what people are going through. Mm -hmm. Just a small little child, Mm -hmm. like, changed my day that quick. Absolutely. So, be nice. Well, I also say... You don't know what people are going through, and thank God you don't. Yeah. Right. You know, when you're looking at someone on the corner holding a sign, and you're like, I don't understand. Thank mm-hmm. God you don't understand. Right. Yeah. Or if there's somebody that's selling their body, thank God you don't understand why mm-hmm. they would have to do that. Right. Right. Like, right. So before you judge, thank yeah. God that you don't have that. That's not Absolutely. your story. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm glad that there are some things I don't understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I don't I don't have no point of reference, and that right. means I was kept from that day. Come on. Mm-hmm. But I I have grace for the people who weren't kept from. Absolutely. It. But on career day, nobody said they wanted to be an addict. They right. didn't say right. they wanted to be a prostitute. They usually mm-hmm. said teachers or something. But sometimes life happens and mm-hmm. it's different. And so just be be grateful that some things you don't understand. Right. That's the truth. That's the truth about it right there. Yeah, so. Well, Listen. Daisy, I am so excited. Oh, well, okay. Well, well, you Cause, cause I was about to say, <laughs> honey, this show. Right. Somebody listening to this go is show is going to receive what they need. That is right. And they are going to be blowing your phone up. That's what I believe. Call That's me. what we okay. need. Okay. Mm-hmm. One more time. What's that number? It is 859-359-8352. The Champion Therapy Center. Let them know that you're calling from Community Action, and we will get you in and make sure that you have the help that you need. Now, this show is not just uh, with Community Action Council. You must be a Head Start parent. Or a staff member. But you uh, can still the call the number. Of um, Community Action Council. You can still call the number if you're not. But That's you right. don't say Community Action. Right. But you can say you heard <laughs> from this podcast. Yeah, you could say okay. that. Yes. And what's the name of this podcast? Just one more time. Look who's talking. Look who's Woo-hoo. talking. Okay. That's who you've been listening to. Tell a friend. Tell your uh, neighbor. Share the show. Put us out there, right? Uh-huh. All right. Tell your cousins, friends. Tell them. Tell them. I love We here. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.